All right, how you doing today? Good, I'm doing great. I'm in my Sunday's best. Sunday's best. <laughs> Pain all over me, unshaven, yeah, yeah. All right, explain what we're doing here. We are at, uh, I guess it's the fifth, kind of not my backyard, my neighbor's yard. I rented out a uh, relaxshacks.com hands-on tiny house building and or cabin building workshop here in, uh, in Massachusetts. And we got a heck of a lot going on, as you can hear in the background. Okay, now behind you, yeah. there's a project happening and you've got like a group here. You've got a couple groups going on at the moment. Yeah, um, we got, we got uh, let, me, let me look around for a second. I think there's like four <laughs> or five projects going on at once and I'm kind of running in circles, making sure everything's going as planned. These are things I designed. This one behind me, we're kind of looking at the butt end of it. Uh, I'm loosely calling the bread box. It's a simple, almost prefabricatable, making up words here, tiny uh, greenhouse, or it could be used as a vacation cabin shelter, you know, camp shelter, something like that, disaster relief even. Easy to build, simple to build, same thing. Affordable, um, quick to build. We only worked on it a couple hours yesterday, and so far today, we've been at it a couple hours as well, and they're doing real well. So. It's made with a decent deal of recycled materials. Over there we have another cabin which is almost almost made entirely out of free and recycled stuff in some very unusual and clever and colorful ways. We have another group making a folding table that comes out of a wall. When it's up against the wall it's an art piece. When it drops down it's topped with an old Ikea desktop I found on the side of the road. We have people building pallet chairs, dismantling some pallets and using some scrap wood. What else? There's more going on. I have to think about it in a second. Pretty sure there's a spool here, too. Yeah, we got a killer spool over there that <laughs> a certain gentleman found just recently. <laughs> and we have, uh, we're building some, I call them redneck windows. We take sashes from windows I found on the side of the road. And when we trim them out with some miter cuts, we hinge them and they open on the exterior of cabins. It's a, it's a ways to make uh, windows that normally would be static work. So you can get some, you know, an airflow into these cabins, and it's working well. So we've got a lot going on at night. Bunch of campfires, bunch of guest speakers, and uh, yeah, it's been fun. Now this uh, workshop. Now you do many workshops, correct? Yeah, I do some for the Tumbleweed Tiny House Company. I travel around the U.S. And now with some of these workshops, we started traveling. We did one in North Carolina uh, in April, and it went so well that we're going to do another one in North Carolina coming up, and probably one near Memphis and one in Nicaragua. No, that last part's not true. But um, no, we got quite a few coming up. We're starting to travel, mainly myself, I'm Deke, you know, just in case, and my brother Dustin Diedrichson. Um, and then uh, we got, for this workshop, because it's pretty sizable, standing over there, I got my buddy Shippy, and uh, a couple other co-hosts. Drew, who was a former attendee at one of the workshops, who was just such a hard worker, he's out here helping. He's not eating burgers today, is he? No, Shippy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait a second, he is. Drew, get back to work. <laughs> um, um, if somebody wanted to attend a workshop of yours, what do they need to do? Yeah, I mean, just my my site's relaxshacks.com, R-E-L-A-X, shacks.com. We'll and put a link in the, on the screen yeah, under, under, underneath. You. Anytime there's uh, workshops, we, we talk about them like months ahead of time. And uh, occasionally, we do some work trade agreements, like we did a couple this time for people who couldn't like really afford to go. Um, we're in exchange for helping out in labor, they get to come, you know, on work trade, not for cash, um, which helps me out, helps them out, and uh, it's RelaxShacks.com. These cabins ultimately will have, so I run a YouTube channel called RelaxShacks, D-O-T spelled out com. And, and these we'll, cabins eventually... We'll put a link yeah, under Put it on the lower me. third. Yes. Eventually, we will have video tours of these cabins, some photographic tours as well. So you guys can see in the end run what they will look like when they're all pimped out and done. Well, guys, check out all the information in the uh, underbar. And uh, certainly go over to uh, relaxshacks.com, the YouTube channel, and the website. Give them thumbs up and like them on Facebook and everything else. All that cool stuff, guys. Um, don't be strangers. And uh, this is Deke at the Relax Shacks workshop, and I'll give you a tour of the other stuff later on.
Hi guys, it's Randy and we're on site with Paul. Um, he's my new friend. Uh, we're in uh, Raynham, Massachusetts and we're just picking up some supplies here. Um, Paul, what do you have here? Well, um, where I work, uh, we get bundles of rags and the rags come in these um, repurposed uh, burlap sacks and basically the burlap sacks are actually what coffee comes in out of some place in Central and South America so I'm going to use that as a material along with polyurethane. Went to a coffee shop one time and the tables were really cool. They were wood with burlap, urethane to them with quite a thick coat of urethane then they were polished and they were just really neat and uh, the patterns on the bags, on the burlap bags um, you know, in the in the country and the, the, the symbol of the people who are shipping the coffee out around there. So it's kind of a uh, pretty neat thing if you're, you know, you're into having a cup of coffee and you like to have cool stuff and use repurposed material and it's free. I mean, I grabbed these, they would have went in the trash. I don't know, I found this can of polyurethane somewhere, but I'm going to use all of it to make something neat. Cool. So we'll see, uh, we'll see something officially put together by the end of uh, this weekend, I'm sure, right? Yeah, me and my daughter Hannah have been talking about this for a while. At work, where I work, I also like this, um, some of the stock we use, the metal stock uh, comes in uh, wooden crates, and um, we're going we're gonna to repurpose the wooden crates. Um, we're going to um, make some slats and make a cover for it, put a hinge on it, and that's what I'm planning to do with the burlap is on top of that, make kind of like a coffee table out of this crate and put burlap and urethane in it and then see who's interested in either buying it or using it. Well, that'll be nice. That'd be nice. So, guys, this is the process. This is, uh, you know, taking uh, what you can find and that would normally go in the trash and reusing it. So, this is just a small sample of that. Sure. All right. Hey, guys. It's Randy and Amanda getting their green. And uh, we're here at the Relax Shacks workshop uh, with Shippy and Brian. And uh, they have a very obvious table sitting in front of you today. Um, it's not so obvious, actually. I'm going to turn it over to Shippy and Brian to kind of show us what this is. It's really special because it's just wood. <laughs> well, actually, this is going to attach the table to the wall with hinges down here. And when you're done with the table, you fold it up, and this will be what's facing the room. Ooh, this is just sort of a kooky little mosaic thing we threw together with scrap woods of various colors and whatnot just to kind of make for something interesting to look at as opposed to just a big open square blank thing to look at and we this are table going is to gonna go up and down yep, when this you need it so it's safe space yep. okay. and we're going to add to it a little shelf and these little false flower pots hey randy randy yeah, shelf top and we're going to have some... Are you in the middle of the and then we're going to put some twigs or something out of it just to kind of give it some dimension. Oh, yeah. These are going to be stood off of the piece a little bit. I think it'll, uh, I think it'll look pretty cool when we're done with it. That's pretty cool, guys. I really like it. I think it's a beautiful piece. All old recycled pieces. Yeah. Upcycled pieces. Upcycled. Upcycled. Repurposed. Repurposed pieces. We're all about doing that. Self-sufficiency, repurposing, using what... Other people would normally consider trash. This is that is a trash to treasure. That's beautiful. Good job, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.